Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we've got three little Elementor image hover effects for you today. They're really easy to do and great things to have on your site. First one here we've just got a simple image there when we hover over it it's going to fade into another one. Second one when we hover over it it's going to flip to reveal a different image. And the third one, when we hover over it, it's going to scale and show us the image underneath. Like I say, really easy to do. There's no coding involved in this today. So let's get started. I've got this page open here with the Elementor page builder. I'm using the free version of this today. But of course, it'll work equally as well with the pro version. Let's add a new section and we'll start from scratch. I'm going to add a row. I'm going to put three columns in there. And in our first column, let's choose the picture we want to work with. So I'm simply going to go and choose an image module. There we go. Drag it over, drop it in there. Let's go ahead and choose the image. And let's just grab this one here. All right, so we've got an image there. And what I'd like to do is have that image fade out and reveal an image underneath it. So to make this work today, and it's common with a lot of image swap things, is the image we want to fade to is actually going to reside in the column. Dark tab for the column, little blue tab for the actual module itself. So let's go into the column and put an image behind also. So I'm going to left click on the column. And as you can see, it says edit column here. I'm going to go over to the style, down to background type, hit the little paintbrush, and we can add an image. And this is the image that we want to fade to. So I'm going to put that little one in there right there. Now you can't really see it because our module's on top, but that's fine. You can see the outline there. Now let's fix that because we don't want to be able to see any of that until we fade this image out. And the reason we can see that is because the column's got a bit of padding on it all around. So while we're still in the column, let's go to the advanced. We'll take any padding away by simply putting a zero in there in the padding. Make sure the link is checked there and it'll do all four at once. And as you can see, or as you can't see, you can't see that background image anymore. But what we've done is we've closed it up against the other columns. I want a bit of a gap there. So instead of using padding, we'll put a bit of margin in. So let's put 10 pixels margin in there. And we're going to do the same for all three of these when it comes to the column. OK, so we've got our image in the background there. I want to fade this one out to reveal that background image. So let's go back into the little image itself and edit image it says up there. Now let's go over to our style here. We've got an opacity setting. Now depending on which way you want it to go, whether you want to fade out this one or into this one, change your opacity. Zero is completely invisible. One is fully visible. So if you want to start with this image, set it to one here. And then when we hover over it, we can set it down to zero. And make sure that's zero, not 0 0.1, because you will see some of it 0 0.1. And we've got a purple thing. Let's go back in that column. One thing I didn't do is I wanted to set that image to cover. So let's go back into that column, back into the column there, style. Here's our background size. I'm going to set that to cover so we can see the whole of that image when we hover over. Let's go back in here now. And you can see we've got the whole of that image, which is great. Now that's doing that absolutely instantly. I like to slow it down for a little bit of drama. So if we look at the hover state, it's not there in the normal state. So if you're looking for it and it's not there, it's probably because you're on the normal state. Go to the hover state and you'll see transition duration. And we can set the time here. And that's 0.7 of a second, 0.8 of a second, 0.9 of a second. Let's make it about a second. And it's kind of gradual right there. Obviously, you can slow it down, speed it up to your heart's content. And if it doesn't go high enough for you, three, which should be pretty good for most things. You can just type in a value. But I'm happy with it to be about a second or so.
there we go let's just update check it's going to work on the front end there's our image when I hover over it's going to take a second to flip to the other image there okay well that's our first one very easy to do now the second one we're going to do a similar sort of thing let's go back to the matrix we'll grab another image we'll pop it in the second column let's choose the image that we want to show here let's just use that one what I want to do is to have this one sort of flip and reveal an image underneath so let's put our image in the column over to the column here over to style background type hit the little paintbrush again let's pop our image in let's perhaps use this one and again we've got a little artifact around the edge there this time let's remember to have it cover there we go great so again we're going to go over to advanced we're going to take all that padding away and we're going to add a little bit of margin there we go so they're on top of each other now great well let's make this image flip and disappear to reveal the image underneath so back into that image again I'm going to go to advanced this time I'm going to go down to transform we're on normal I'm going to go down I'm going to use flip vertical for this so there we go but I only really want to flip it vertical when we're hovering over it so I'm going to leave it on normal for the normal and when I hover over it I want it to flip vertically there we go as you can see it's flipping there well, I want to slow it down a little bit again maybe about a second and these are milliseconds so 1000 milliseconds is going to be a second so somewhere around a second there we go that's nice and smooth but I want it to actually disappear when it flips over so to have it do that we're going to make it fade out again let's go back into our style and again here's our image just open it up if you're not in there here's our opacity so I want it fully visible on normal before it flips then when we hover over it I want it to be invisible remember that's got to be a total zero or else you're going to see a bit of it I want this to take quite a long time so I'm going to ramp this up to probably two and a half seconds so it's going to flip and then fade out to reveal the one below that's a quite nice little effect there so again let's update make sure that's going to work on the front end there's our second image there we go flip and fade fantastic okay and for our third one we're going to have it scale in and disappear and reveal the image underneath let's go and we'll add a new image to our new column over here back to the matrix add the image and let's use this one and again we'll go into the column we'll add the one that we want to flip to or scale to in this particular case style background here's the image and just for fun let's flip to a landscape for this one and again we've got our little bit hanging over the side there we know what to do now over to advanced padding zero and margin 10 fantastic okay let's go back to our image and again we're going to go to advanced this time we're going to go down to transform again and I'm going to use scale this time so on normal I'm going to have it at one which is normal size you can make it grow larger if you want to but one is normal size there 
and then when we hover over it I want to take it down probably to well 40 or 30 percent or 0.3 something like that but again I want it to disappear completely so we can see our image in the background and yet again I've forgotten to cover the background with that image there so let's do that correct that one back into the column style background cover there we go that should fix that okay well let's do our little thing to make that disappear so it'll reveal that landscape image behind it so again back on the image gonna go to style down to opacity now normal I want it to be at one or fully visible and then when it scales down on hover I want it to be completely invisible or zero and again duration time on this around about a second or so I think something like that yeah that works fine and again let's update and we'll take a look there's our image fantastic here's our flip and there's our fade so there's three little image hover effects for you those are great things to have on your desktop if people are mousing around your site and this things start to happen it'll get their attention pretty quickly which is what you want now these hover effects are great for desktop like I say on tablet and mobile you might want to create alternative versions because although they'll work when they tap on them they're not going to know to tap on them so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie with system 22 and webdesign and tech tips .com. thanks for watching have a great day